What do you know? It's raining again. Got a fun meeting to start the day today. Well, I guess it's not really the start of my day. I've been working for several hours, but just the, like the first exciting thing, the first thing worth showing on here. So I guess the Rotary meets at the YMCA. I get to uh, do a little Containing 300 presentation here. Man, that was awesome. What a great group of people. I would totally join the Rotary if I had more time, but um, I do not, so I probably won't join the Rotary. But at the same token, you should join the Rotary. They have fantastic food, and uh, they get Gardas catered every single week. That's amazing. Plus, they're doing really good work in town. You guys might remember the uh, from the Summer Serve event. They funded putting up the uh, bus shelters, and so those projects were Rotary projects, and they do a lot of good stuff. Uh, that's good for the nation, that's good internationally, just a positive, impactful local organization. Hopefully we'll be partnering together this summer, and we'll have uh, some Rotary team members on some of our summer serve projects as well, so that'll be exciting. Forgot something here. Forget like how important these little tripods are until I don't have one for a day. Several more things to try to accomplish today. At least it's not raining anymore. Our church garbage can disappeared. Were they stolen? Did the wind blow them away? Were they taken in the rapture? Nobody knows. So one of the things I talked about to the Rotary Group and one of the things we've really focused on over the last year was the major success of uh, tackling the issue of blight in our community and improving the housing stock, the residential housing stock in our town. Now we did all of that, which caused us to kind of neglect the other three areas that we're working on. Not fully neglect, we still talked about them and still made some progress, but trying to fill up downtown businesses, downtown buildings like this one, and then also <clears throat> tackling the addiction problem and helping our local government be more effective and more efficient. Uh-oh, got another boarded up window here. I don't know if that's actually an improvement or if that's a negative thing. Uh, we'll see, I guess. Sorry, I can't help but get distracted when I'm downtown. <laughs> but all that conversation got me thinking, you know, what do people actually think? What do you guys think? What's more important? Is it more important to take care of the blight in the community? Or is it more important for us to have a full downtown business district? The results were pretty overwhelmingly tilted in one direction. We had 177 votes and 71% of people said that it was more important for us to have a full business district than it was for us to have an improved housing stock. I think we all agree that both things need to happen, uh, but I'm gonna shift my focus a little bit and we're gonna try to put together our data-driven plan uh, to hopefully fill up some of these downtown buildings. That starts with what I talked about a couple weeks ago. Uh, we're taking an inventory of all the empty buildings downtown, and then we're gonna move into a marketing phase. So we're gonna figure out uh, how much detail can we get out to the public, and how, how can we connect these empty buildings with business owners. We're gonna roll that out over the next couple months, and hopefully we're gonna see some uh, great progress in 2020. I know I'm excited already that East BRA has taken one of those empty buildings and filling it up with a great need in our community. And I'm just excited to see what else is going to be happening here in the near future. I got my, my new friend Josh here. He's going into the new barber shop too. Uh, <laughs> that's another empty business, empty building that's now filled up and uh, active business right here in town. Very cool. So I got Facebook's opinion, but I'd love to have your guys' opinion as well. Let me know, uh, what do you think is more important, improving the houses in Katanning or filling up the business district? And then also, let me know, do you have any other ideas on what we could do to market these empty buildings to hopefully get them filled up over the next uh, couple years? But uh, let me know in the comments, let me know your opinions, let me know your thoughts on what we have planned, and uh, yeah, make sure you're connected with this channel so that when we move forward with these plans, uh, you can be a part of it.
Day is almost done, but I got one more group that I get to go uh, speak Tanning 300 with. Another great group of people. It's coming together. Organizations pulling in the same direction. I'm telling you guys, summer of 2020, it's gonna be a special. <laughs>